What is going on, everyone? Let's dissect this Eagles game against the Colts just a little bit. And I understand I'm nitpicking because we won, but there are still some things to take a look at. And it starts with the offensive line. The trenches in general on passing plays, I feel like was was a little bit of an issue. Carson Wentz got sacked five times. This is your franchise. This is your team's quarterback who's coming back from the injury. You know how important it is. As an offensive line, you got to think as a unit that they knew how big of a deal it was to keep this guy healthy and keep this guy on his feet. Lane Johnson was getting beat all night long on pass plays. Keep that in mind. When we ran the football... Yeah, there were holes, there were lanes, but keeping Carson upright and standing in confidence, I don't know if our offensive line did the greatest job. Maybe it's because Carson Wentz is just coming back, it's taking him longer to get his reads, he's not used to his receivers, and I understand that. But this offensive line is supposed to be the best in football, so maybe it's a good thing because they like to be tested. These men are true professionals. Lane Johnson, Jason Peters, these are true professional athletes at the National Football League level, and maybe it's good. Maybe it's good they're getting tested. Maybe it's good they're getting questioned. What's going on? I thought they were supposed to be the best. And let's be real, it's not like this this Colts defensive line is lethal. It's not like you have a stud, a star on the other end that should be whooping Lane Johnson. So I think our offensive line needs to get better. Late during this game on, on that big time drive, you have Carson Wentz escaping the pocket, making a beautiful throw to Nelson Aguilar, who makes an outstanding effort to get the first down. But Carson had to do a little bit of escaping. I, I'm just saying, our offensive line did not have a great game. They didn't. And I think that needs to get addressed. And I want to bring this to the defensive side of the ball. And I know I'm being critical. Our red zone defense is unbelievable. Our pass rush, huge with Derek Barnett late. And when big plays are needed, they step up. Brandon Graham with the strip sack in the Super Bowl. Derek Barnett, huge play. Sacks Andrew Luck to win us the football game. But overall... In a passing matter, when it comes to passing plays, I don't think our defensive line is as lethal as we expected them to be. Now, I get it. It's a few games into the season, right? We don't have Jernigan. We add other pieces. Michael Bennett, apparently not happy with his playing time. We're not in the flow of things yet. Run defense, amazing. Amazing. But getting to the quarterback, I thought we should have gotten to Andrew Luck a little bit more. That's just the honest truth. And I speak of this again. I mentioned how the defensive line on the Colts shouldn't be able to push Lane Johnson back. I don't think the Colts' offensive line should be able to hold Fletcher Cox, Brandon Graham, all these men that we have on that line, that stat, to just, uh, you know, what they did. Our, our defensive line is lethal. They should be able to get to Andrew Luck more. And I hate to do this because you look at statistics, you see how many yards they threw for. And you're saying, bro, what the hell are you talking about? I just think we should be able to get to the quarterback a little bit more. I think trenches wise, when it comes to the passing aspect of it, we need to be better on both sides. Our offensive line, more of a struggle than I would say our defensive line, no doubt. I'm just nitpicking here. I get it. But when you take a look at the passing aspect of the football game and the trenches that's involved with the Eagles, I expect more. I do. I expect more. Lane Johnson should not be getting pushed around. Lane Johnson, this this entire line, should give Carson Wentz a little bit more time. And I did mention the fact that, hey, our receivers aren't the best right now. And Carson Wentz is just coming back and he's trying to get into the groove of things. Maybe his eyes just need a little bit more time so he can be quicker. He needs to get quicker. But knowing how big of a game this is for Carson Wentz to be returning from injury, you got to think this offensive line knew they had to be dialed 
in 150%. There's no reason why this defensive line of the Colts should be able to, to make it that hard for this Eagles offensive line, who is the best in the league, as some would say. And I feel like that's a fair point. I feel like that's fair criticism. Keep in mind, I'm nitpicking. But I think it needs to get addressed. I'm more nitpicking on the defensive side, no doubt. I'm yelling that we're not getting enough rush as the D-line on a pass game when we hold them to such a small number of yards in the passing game. But don't you expect a couple more sacks out of this defensive line going up against a Colts front? I'm not criticizing this defense as a whole. Our red zone play is top-notch. Wins us games. Elite. But there are just plays within the red zones that just confuse me. And I feel like we should be able to get more pressure. More knock on the offensive line than the D line. Keep that in mind. More knock on this offensive line and how they played yesterday. Understanding the circumstance of Carson Wentz. Now I believe that they will be able to change this. Like I said, these are guys that have been in the league, had success, tasted success, and true professionals. I kind of like that maybe they're battling adversity. It keeps the energy up. It, it, it allows them to realize, oh, they're, they're saying we're not good enough, and it pushes them to the next level. I believe that can happen. And I think it will get addressed. But this is our starting crew. When it comes to the wide receivers, it's, it's backups. But what we're talking about now with this offensive line, that's not backups. That's our legit starters. When it comes to our defensive line, Maybe getting a little bit more pressure. These are our starters, right? Not the end of the world. It's just something that stu- stood out to me. Main focus, offensive line. Nitpicking. Defensive line. Maybe because I just expect excellence out of them. I-, I expect domination. And when they have a good game, I'm craving for domination. Maybe that's it. When it comes to the D side of the football at the line. And keep in mind, remember, I'm talking about when it comes to passing plays. Because our run defense is elite. And even our offensive line when it comes to running. There's holes. There's gaps. I'm talking passing options. Let me know what you think down below. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.